All right, guys, back at the shop again, working on the scooter. Um, so I got the uh, battery charging right now. And a little update on what I did since last time. Um, I just switched. It was just the fuse cover. I don't know if the fuse is actually blown, and I probably should check it. Um, cause I don't know exactly what this one does. I'm gonna have to get the light in there. I'm gonna figure out what this wire does. I'm pretty sure this is, this one's directly to the starter solenoid. I don't know what this does, but the starter solenoid also isn't clicking at all, which makes me believe it might be dead. So I might have to steal it out of this one. So might be doing that. Um, but I also want to check the switch where this wire that goes into the loom. It might not be connected or something stupid. I don't know. I'm going to dick around before I uh, turn this back on, and uh, we'll see what happens. Alright, so we're going to check out the starter solenoid. So I got the two little covers taken off. Um, I have a continuity checker here. Got this end grounded. So um, I'll just show you on the battery. Grounded, this is positive. Light comes on. Uh, this connects all the way back to the battery, so right there. Light comes on. Um, not sure how I'm going to do it, but obviously the switch is not pressed. So if I s hit the switch, this should theoretically turn on. So let me get this set up somewhere we can maybe see it. So again, lights up here, doesn't light up here. If I hit the switch, the starter switch, it should light up. If it doesn't, it either means the solenoid bad or the switch is bad or something between the switch and the solenoid. All right, so I'm hitting the button. You can hear me. Nothing. Might be taking this out, switching it with the solenoid with the other bike. I also just realized I said solenoid like a million times. That is not a solenoid. That is a relay. So ignore everything I said. I swapped the relays over. This is the relay from the other bike. They're actually, it's actually pretty interesting because they have them in completely different locations. The relay on this bike sits way down here and it sits like up here on this one. Um, I swapped the relay, it, it's not doing anything. My lights work, blinkers, I hit, oh, you can't see that with the glare. Uh, horn, that works, um, nothing. Light doesn't even turn on, there's no power on this side. <sighs> which means, and I changed this, the whole relay, which includes this connector. So then that means something from this loom to the switch is what's wrong. So I can't think there would be anything stopping it. You know, you got the key on. Nothing should really be stopping it. So I'll investigate some more. So we're chasing the problem to the switch. Um, I just took the front part off, which is fine because I need to swap out the uh, front light. Oh, yeah, let's just drop it and scuff it up and make it worse, but yeah, so I needed to take that off anyway. It just snips off, or snaps off. This one I gotta do, because this light's actually pretty perfect. So now I gotta figure out where the switch comes into play with all of this. This might be able to come off. Alright, we got a quick discovery here. Here's the switch. This is the power switch, or the starter switch. You can see on the back. Oh, let me get you in there. All right, you see the connector. Green and red. It just has the two. Might be able to see it better from here. And if we go over to the starter relay, what do we got? Green and red, which if you're colorblind, you won't be able to see. So then, my guess is the switch my guess is the switch connects those two wires, and that's what triggers the relay. So, I might be able to pull this off and then bridge that gap with like alligator clips or something. And if that does that, it might connect this, but it might have to ground something. It, it depends if it's default open or default closed, I don't know. So here's the connector. And inside, it just has the two wires. Um, probably should have checked this out first, but 
if I connect these two, it should theoretically turn over. Um, I'm just going to kind of stick this in here and hope it bridges it and it starts, starts starting. Let's try it. Nothing. Hmm. I connected the two and nothing is happening. And I still have power here and nothing here. Well, what if I connect them and then check the guy? I mean, they should just be touching. I should just be able to jam it in there. That's continuity. Nothing. Power, nothing. I may need to ground one of these. Let's try it. I may need to ground both of them. That did nothing. That did nothing. All right, I'm gonna have to think this through. Ate some dinner. Did some thinking. I thought the fuse might be blown, so I swapped the fuses out. Now I don't even have enough charge going on. These batteries are shot. The lights should be on, and they aren't. All right, so swap the fuses. Um, this fuse looks better. I mean, they both looked like they were together, but the filament was kind of skewed on the other one, so I don't actually know if it was connecting on either side. So I'm going to connect everything back up again and see if I wasn't getting solenoid power because of uh, the fuse. So lights work, lights work, power's going. Let's try it. So I'm a little dumb, dumbfounded at what's happening right now. I think I need to do a little bit of research. Um, think it through a little bit more. I, I just, I can't really figure out why the solenoid's not doing anything. Um, one thing I'm going to try right now, though, is I think I'm going to try with the battery and the charge pack hooked up. I'm going to try jumping the starter. Because I don't know what if this needs to be powered for it to all whatever. Because if it's just the switch, that's the problem. But I can turn over the engine, which it didn't appear to turn over last time. Then we're then we're good. All right, unsuccessful. Um, there seems to be a wiring issue. I also don't know if the starter's messed up because I I did jump it and it sp spun, but didn't really do anything but spin and get hot because that's what they do. It didn't engage to the engine at all, so I'll think about it. Um, I also can't get those stupid fucking uh, mirrors off, which I need to to get the front cowl off. You can see they attach right here, but I don't know. I can't. And this one's like busted. This whole bike is like, it's redneck is what it is. Well, I'm an idiot show you what I got going on here so uh we'll start start all the way okay off key kill switch I'm an idiot left break I'm gonna push this with my finger spinning not engaging so the switch is figured out but it's not engaging so something's wrong with the starter Got to pop the starter off. I could steal the one from the other one, but we'll see what's up. Hmm. What might this do?
take nine billion or something. I don't know how I feel about this uh spout. I'm probably gonna spill gas everywhere. Well, yeah. I got gas all over my hands. I got it everywhere. It's on my hands. I'm gonna go rinse my hands actually. This, this is gross. Real moment of truth. This one locked. Ah, fuel gauge. All the way up. Here, let me show you that. She's pegged full of fuel. It, I should have shown you. It's it's literally right up to there. I think uh, she should start. So So it seems to like uh, it seems to like idling better than running so I'm gonna have to check out the uh, carb and see what's going on with that the other bike uh, the black bike has a new carb though so I can take the carb off that and put it on this and maybe it fixes everything it seems to be idling fine now before it wasn't it wouldn't keep idling so I mean, I don't know, it might just need a full service, it might need like a spark plug and, you know, simple stuff, but for right now it starts and literally the only thing of money I've put into this so far is a battery, which is like $25, $30 or something on Amazon. So, got my new battery. I haven't covered this all up yet because I'm probably going to tinker around more. Um, tail light, get a change out for the other one. I actually don't know if the lights work at all. Yeah, the switch. Oh, but the the front cowl's not on. So I don't think this is gonna do anything because the tail light's out. That's not working. Have my light switch on, but figure it out. These all work. Yeah. I don't oh yeah, the back one works. Maybe that rear bulb is out. Or I mean the lights might be messed up and need work. I mean, even though this thing's like literally busted to hell and back, those are working. So I don't really know why the light's not working, but we'll figure that out. Uh, other thing, front brake doesn't seem to be working. I don't know if I need to uh, fill up the reservoir or something, or the little booster. I don't know if it's empty. I mean, there's no feel whatsoever. This one seems to just be cable. And then I think this one, yeah, this one's hydraulic and this one's cable. 
so they, they put the better one on the front but it doesn't doesn't work so I got to fix that uh, get that on take off all these shitty stickers the uh, forks so that the wheel and the, the handlebars are straight make sure it runs good that's why I'm kind of running it through I don't know if there's crap in it I might go grab seafoam for it or something like that um, brakes I'm not gonna take it on the road without brakes I'm hopefully gonna go register it this week and then once this one's all set I'm gonna start working on the other one um, probably order the key lock um, so I can get it actually started I'll probably need another new battery it'll probably be the same type of stuff and it should work it's about the same but I mean it sounds good Maybe it just needs to be driven in. I'll see if I can do a full lap around the yard. Gonna be the end of this video um if you liked it give it a thumbs up subscribe uh share with your friends especially if you're into lemons or any of this you know kind of hack type crap um we're gonna have a lot more footage um of the car the bus these scooters i mean these are kind of part of the team too yeah and then i'll see what else i do i might do scooter vlogs or moto vlogs or whatever you're gonna call it for a scooter you know, let me know if you have any comments or suggestions, or maybe if anyone knows any reason why that's not really staying going. Um, let me know in the comments, and uh, see you in the next one.